Well, I gotta say, Never Hike Alone really got me pumped for fan films. And so recently I heard about this uh, fan film, it's more of a TV episode called Halloween Reflections. And I was actually pretty impressed, so I figured, let's get a review out for you guys. Halloween Reflection stars Lavina, Yavari, Adam Maros, and is directed by Jason Costa. What's up guys, like I said in the intro, Never Hack Alone really knocked my socks off. And it, it made me realize that, you know, studios, they spend so much time coming up with scripts and, and juggling money and rights and all this stuff. And when a, a young filmmaker uh, puts together a film like Never Hack Alone and shows the big studios that, hey, we don't really need you. We can still make quality, uh, for instance, Friday the 13th films for little money and develop a following. And that's what Never Hack Alone did. I think it's still growing constantly. Uh, if you haven't seen Never Hack Alone, definitely check it out. I'll post a card here for my review for that, but I actually enjoyed it and I would put it probably uh, amongst the best Friday the 13th movies. But um, I had heard rumblings of this uh, TV show and there's only one episode out called Halloween Reflections and you know I'm a Halloween nut. Uh, and I know there's a lot of Halloween fan films out there. Uh, post in the comments some other ones that I might want to check out but this one really caught my eye just aesthetically, visually. I saw the trailer for it. Director Jason Costa really has an eye for you know phenomenal visuals and I think Halloween more than any other franchise benefits from great visuals especially when it comes to like atmosphere and using like blues and whites to, to create tension and that's what this movie does and the tv episode really is only like 20 minutes and i already want to know more but let's get into the plot really this is pretty simple it's uh, a bunch of young adults they're just sitting in a room talking and uh they're talking really about serial killers and Jason and Chucky and this is a this is a world where the movies of Jason and Chucky and all those other slashers exist and Whatever happened in Halloween with Michael Myers that is real life as a matter of fact They're lumping in Michael Myers with guys like Ted Bundy with Jeffrey Dahmer uh, And as soon as they mention him you can tell that Myers is one of the most interesting killers out there as he would be, though, really. I mean, his backstory is so interesting. He's complete and pure evil. And oftentimes, serial killers, they can have, like, kind of a normal background and still become a serial killer. So it provokes some thought there, too. But what I like about this is it didn't poke fun at, you know, the whole Halloween universe at all. As a matter of fact, this one actually supposedly takes place 20 years after the events of H2O. They mention the events of H2O and the character Laurie Strode. But the big thing I think this had going for it was they took the time to just have a conversation to kind of build the tension before Myers even enters the frame. And then once Myers enters the frame, first off, that mask is badass. Like, I love the hell out of this mask. And it's, it's funny that the actual Halloween movies have some of the worst masks ever. And this one, if this was like a legitimate Halloween movie, I would put this in like probably the top three masks of the, uh, the genre or the franchise. It's just that chilling, and I've said this before, it's not about just the mask, it's also about the lighting of the mask. You know, you could take the most awesome mask, but if you don't have the best lighting with it, then it, it's all for naught. And the atmosphere is one of the biggest selling points of uh, this episode, really. And also, there is a nice little twist at the end that involves uh, some of the characters that we know and love in the Halloween universe, and I don't want to give that away, uh, but after this review you can go and watch this and you'll be done in 20 minutes it's nice and quick and easy and i guarantee you you're going to be wanting more so well done jason costa and i i hope we get uh, another episode and overall guys i would definitely give this uh, a purchase worthy if this were to become a full-fledged movie uh if, if they maintained the tone that they did in that first episode it'd be great so anyway guys after you watch this post in the comments what you think and are you know would you want more of this also, I've been asked this a few times. There is an official Drum Dums t-shirt now. You can go to this link below and you can actually buy you a t-shirt. And it's got that lollipop logo created by Woody Bowen on Killer Flicks. Uh, and the guy is a phenomenal artist. So if you want to buy one of those shirts, it'll be below. Also, come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day on Fridays. We do free for all Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and now Stardust. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Drum Dumb out.